Well, then I go stretch first. Do some arm circles. Those help, right? This does something? Does it really? It doesn't. This is my impression of every girl in the background of a school play. Every girl in the background of a school play. You gotta repeat it or it stops being funny. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about getting a dog and naming it Skeet Skeet. Down Skeet Skeet. I said down Skeet Skeet, motherfucker. Down Skeet Skeet, god damn it. <sighs> Fucking asshole. Had to go back in time 10 years to grab that fucking joke. <laughs> so uh, anybody watch the, the sentencing hearing of that guy who had those girls in his basement last week, the guy from Ohio, that asshole? You think anybody's asked those girls if they've seen Breaking Bad yet? Because I can't go a week without someone asking me that question anymore. He's like, have you seen Breaking Bad? No, I've, I've been in a basement for 10 years. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I had that answer. He's like, no, I, I just, I don't watch AMC. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you think I'm less of a person now because I don't watch Breaking Bad. I hear it's amazing. I hear good things. Just don't judge me, man. How much money does it cost for you to suck a guy's dick? Oh, X dollars? That's interesting. Because I'm mine is X plus one. So I guess that means you're gayer than me? Guys can really only relate to that question. Girls won't ask each other that question. They're like, how much money would it take for you to eat a pussy? How much? $4,000? Fag. Such a fag. <laughs> a friend asked me recently, like, what makes you think you can say fag when you do comedy? And I said, well, you know how, like, there's this place, and it's a house, and it's a party, and there's all these people, and it's called the We're All Great Party, and, like, everybody, like, most people are born into it, but most people don't stay in it through their lives. Like, black people, like, they're born as babies, and it's like, oh, cute, a baby. Everybody likes babies. Nobody can be racist towards a baby, but they get older, and eventually they're like, I'm leaving this everybody's great party, and I'm taking this N-word with me. Grab a couple crackers, too, while I'm out. It goes great with the N-word. Me, I was called the faggot in school, so I, I said, hey, this, taking it, coming with me. I'm taking this faggot. I'm leaving. Uh, fun fact, when I'm holding the word faggot, it's a gas station key for a bathroom. That's how I imagine, at least. It just says faggot on it. You come with me. So yeah, sucking dicks. One of my favorite questions, it's more it's better than the how much would it cost for you to suck a dick. It's the clone question. Would you have sex with your clone? And most people would say no. I know a couple people who said yes without thinking about it. Kennedy. Kennedy. You didn't even think about it. You would have sex with your clone. I. I don't know if I would have sex with my clone, but I love how the question evolved where, like, having sex with your clone is too gay, so what if the clone disappears after you come in its butt? <laughs> like, what if it disappears after? Well, there's nothing in science that suggests that. And what if the clone doesn't disappear when that situation does come up and you are, you fuck your clone in the ass, and then the next morning you wake up and your clone's still there. You have to take it to IHOP. By breakfast, everybody goes, oh my god, identical twins. I haven't seen these in a while. And they're like, nope, I'm his clone. Fucked me in the butt last night. 
Thought I'd disappear because he's dumb. Now he's buying me a Grand Slam breakfast. I'm clearly the winner here. <laughs> Fucking my clone in the butt. Fuck a clone in the butt. <sighs> well, fuck. Take another picture of me before I go. One more. One more picture. Come on. Do it. Yeah. That was kind of weird. It was like flash dance. The whole situation felt a little gay. But, all right. I'm done. So, good night, guys. <laughs>